Um, speaking of NFL seasons, I was wait, a- wait, wait. Speaking of fingers, you did this to me. You know that, right? What? Pre-game, no. About to play the Rams. No. The game they beat our ass, actually. No. Somebody threw me, hey, you gonna may, may have to return punts this, this week and get out there and catch something from Pat. All right, cool. Oh. Hey. Putting bomb. Bomb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hammer, hammer, get me right. So, so you got to pop this bag in place. Buddy tape, I had to play the game. That bend right there is. A it fit. was broken, and, I, you know, they put the little brace on you to wear it, but I, I hate braces. Oh, I man. am so sorry. This is forever. By the way, you are not the only victim to that. Okay, that is something that does happen, but that's not technically my fault. They, them saying that they wanted you, because by the way, that week, if they were asking you, I offered up to be the returner as well, because all we were going to do was fair catch. I was like, hey, listen, I'll get True. back on those jugs. I know where the ball's going. Let me do it. And Tom McMahon was like, no. I was like, just, all right, let me catch them then. So I go in the jugs machine. I'm messing around in practice. Easy, because I know where the ball is going. I know where it's turning. And by the way, you've seen the hands. Say yeah. it. Say it. Top three. I had top, top three in the specialist room for the Colts. No, team, <laughs> team, top, top three on oh. the team. Team, wow. I, I mean, I my hands. By the way, they had to be. Legit. I believe. I believe you. I had to catch. And and by the way, I got bored, so my hands were very. good. I mean, some would say top two, but I mean, Darius, I guess, goes top three. I because, mean, you didn't have a drop. I don't remember you dropping any snaps. So <sighs> there was one. Top I did. three. I did drop one. Ah, yeah, shit. yeah. Well, we won't talk about it. But I, I would go back. I go on back and caught the jugs every single time. Like perfect. Yeah. Just boom, easy, no problem. Bang, bang, bang. And I was like, Tom, just if we're gonna fair catch it, we don't have a guy. Just let me go fair catch him. I'll go fair catch him. He even goes up to Chuck and says, Hey, McAfee can actually catch these. Should we do this? And Chuck goes, He won't fair catch the ball though. <laughs> <laughs> Smart guy. <laughs> so uh, literally the next day, I was told to stop. They put you in there. Whenever that ball starts to turn though there's a and there's a couple balls that i hit that if they come straight down that's I mean, exactly what happened yeah and i'm not a punt return guy i'm a kick return so i'm, I'm used to the hey just give that me thing was straight down yeah you remember <laughs> when they drafted philip dorsett of so, course I remember so they that. draft philip dorsett first round okay we have ty hilton on the team philip dorsett ty hilton very similar wide receivers but they were doing best on the board best available and they had philip dorsett whenever he got there they cut josh cribs like that night or something. So they were trying to send a message that like, okay, Dorsett, not only is he a great wide receiver, he's also very fast. He'll be our returner. Tom McMahon was like, this guy returned zero punts in college. How do we know? Oh, he's athletic enough. He'll be able to figure out. And Tom's like, not everybody can just figure out how to catch a punt and return. They're like, yeah. oh, he'll, he'll be able to do it. So the first day, he t- uh, Phil Dorsett's there and we have like pads on. Uh, Tom's like, hey, you give this guy the hardest balls that he'll ever see in his life. I'm like, you got it. And by the way, he wasn't bad, wasn't bad, wasn't great, though. Like, it's a talent. Like, it's a real talent being able to catch punts. Darius is one of the best athletes I've literally ever seen in my entire life. It's something you got to practice. First game, he gets in there against Buffalo. I think he dropped two. Do you remember that? He dropped two. He got pulled out. I mean, it was a big scene. It's not just something where you can just plug an athlete. Yeah, that's tough. He should have told him. Why didn't he? Hey. Uh, this is, I haven't done this. This is not my thing. I don't you think, guys are NFL coaches. I thought you knew that. I don't think – by the way, I don't think he ever said anything like that, but I know that whenever we were punting to each other, like he was he was like trying to learn as fast as possible. Like he was like, hey, when the ball starts doing this, when it, like he was very inquisitive because I think he even knew like I am not supposed to be back here right now. But if he was able to figure it out, that guy would have been a guy who would have been an explosive like returner. You. He was so good in practice. I've talked about Philip Dorsett a couple of times on this show – practice he was making these insane pl- uh, catches then we would came game day we didn't give him the ball he didn't get the ball i don't think like maybe four times a game maybe three times a game, maybe even less than yeah, that patriots he would he would have like every other game they would throw to him some games you do yeah. unbelievable and then the next game they just won't even look at him he's, brady he's, is that a thing that athletes will do though is admit that they can't do something like pat got drafted and never held ever but he said he that he was great at holding lied right to bill polian's face lied right to not his not face. many will say uh, nah, coach, I don't want to do this. A first rounder, you, he he could have got away with it. Like uh, I'm not. And plus, you got to be a little. Some got to be a little off to be a punt returner. Yes. It's not like kick return. Yeah. You got a little more space. Punt return, like a dude could be right there when you catch the ball. Like Pac-Man so. who never fair caught it. I like it. Hey, oh, you know he he had that incredible run of never. I still think he hasn't fair caught a ball yet. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you something, got to be a little off. Pac and I knew each other pretty good, right? Because West Virginia, we hung out a little bit. Before the game, he was like, he caught like three punts or something like that. He was just doing it to mess around. Like, he was at the point of his career where punt returning wasn't even something he was thinking about. It was just like a natural thing he was doing. And I was like, hey, I'm going to get you a fair catch today. And he looked, I've never seen, I've never seen Pac look at me that way. He looked, he said, you will never. And then he just <laughs> jogged away. And I was like, oh my God, that is one of the funniest things I've ever heard. And he was 100% right. If there was a dude, 
a yard in front of him. It did not matter. It was like a lot of people, if they're a really good returner, you hit it as high as you can so we can get a fair catch. Let's just eliminate them. Even if we got to move up the yard, if we're shorter, little shorter punts, let's eliminate. With Pac-Man, it did not matter. He was willing to get absolutely knocked out cold instead of take the easy way out in his eyes, which, by the way, probably a smart thing to do so you don't die. But, Diva, you and I could have been returners that game. They gave you a shot. They didn't give me a shot. That's weird. Did you guys come after all the punts? I would hope if you're fair catching everyone, you got a 10-man rush. For me? You, that, the game where you said you guys didn't, that you were possibly going to be a return, oh, you we knew you were going to fair catch, catch it. it. Did you come after yeah, every Yeah, I would assume we brought some heat. You should block one. If you know you're going to fair catch every single one. You know, coaches get very scared to block punts, though, because if you hit them, it's... You yeah, just, they don't trust yeah. their guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. only one or two guys they trust to block it. Probably. And also the refs, too, like because... Yeah, definitely don't trust them. You know what I mean? If you're even in the area, there's some punters that are very good at drawing penalties. Yeah. Yeah. And I was never one of those guys, by the way, because on film, I didn't want to... That's a tough look on film to be like... Taking but flops. you're helping your team out. I know. So Hate it's kind of... It, it, I do, too. Like, I, I just don't like If them. you do, if you flop, it has to be so over the top in, like... Almost like I'm making a joke of this whole Joel thing. Joel Embiid. Still trying to get the, the flag. So when I did uh, punt, pass, and kick as a child national championship, uh, it was uh, – Congrats. You were – I think I was fourth place. Oh. oh <laughs> Not even on man. the podium? I, I was – I, I toe <laughs> – Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible guy. <laughs> I toe bashed my kick. And, you know, you got to hit it straight. Yeah. Every yard it's off the line, they bring it back. So yeah. – Punt was good. Pass was good. Toe bash kick said, hard right. Okay. Well, I was down there. The Steelers just so happened to be playing the Titans. And that was the game that Nedney, the lefty kicker, he was at the end of the game. We're on the sideline. My dad, massive Steelers fan. Like, obviously huge. I was representing the Steelers at this thing. Steelers are playing the Titans in Tennessee. I actually got booed as I was announced as the champion by the entire stadium. I mean, it was as a 15-year-old, I'm getting booed by 65,000 people. I threw up the shocker, gave him a wave. I mean, it was, it was an awesome moment. But that game ended, if you do recall, Nedney misses a field goal, flops, okay? They call it. Oh. He gets another chance, and I think he goes to overtime. That was the tie. It goes to overtime. Titans win or whatever. In the disappointment and upset from my father on that <laughs> flop, I think it was just kind of something that always ran deep, like, all right, let's do. If we're gonna win, let's do it the right way here. But boy, you really help your team whenever you flop and do. Did stuff. you flop when you play soccer? No, can't. Yeah. I was bigger than everybody. Yeah, it's too big. Yeah, if I'm flopping around, that's a real problem. You know, Tim McAfee be like, hey, sleep outside. <laughs> take you to the fence again. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah he, he'd take me to a fence whenever I was a kid, because I was flinching. Like kids would like do like a feint, and I would like turn my head or whatever. So my father taped me to a fence and threw soccer balls at me. He was like, does this hurt? I'm like, kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, wow. yeah, that's the, yeah, that's, I like it. I like yeah, it. that's, a, if I was the flop, I think it would be a tough, tough house to go back into, you know, dad, what's going on? Did you see that first down I got? I did. Yeah. Speaking of, you're moving in with the neighbor. 